On the campaign trail, U.S. President Joe Biden is putting women's health and the right to an abortion front and center. Biden, a Democrat, signed a new executive order this week expanding U.S. government research on women's health and pledged funds to study issues including reproductive health and menopause. Think of all the breakthroughs we made in medicine across the board, but women have not been the focus. Research has been taking much too long to get to you all. If you send me a Democratic Congress that supports reproductive freedom, I promise you, I promise you, we will restore Roe v. Wade again as the law of the land. Roe v. Wade is a 1973 Supreme Court ruling that granted women a constitutional right to an abortion. But in 2022, the court reversed itself and left the power to enact abortion laws to individual states. Republican-controlled legislatures have since passed laws restricting abortion in nearly two dozen states. Biden's expected Republican opponent, former President Donald Trump, appointed the conservative justices to the court whose votes helped to overturn Roe versus Wade. He says he thinks states should stay in charge. But he has cautioned Republicans on the abortion issue, saying they need to win elections. Polling has shown that most Americans do not support a total ban on abortion. Trump says he supports some exceptions. Ronald Reagan and myself, like Ronald Reagan, believe in the exceptions for rape and incest and the life of the mother. I believe in the exceptions. On a radio show this week, Trump addressed limits on how far into a pregnancy an abortion should be legal. Fifteen weeks seems to be a number that people are agreeing at, but I'll make that uh, announcement at the appropriate time. That same day, Trump answered media covering the Florida primary. Do you think a 16-week abortion ban is smart? We'll be talking about that soon. How soon? We'll be talking about it very soon. Political analysts say the abortion issue will loom large in the presidential election. Biden has the easier task. He simply supports a restoration of Roe v. Wade. For Trump, he has to be careful what he says. Uh, he has to please all of the factions of the evangelical community, which is very difficult to do because they favor various degrees of strictness when it comes to anti-abortion policy. The abortion issue analysts add is especially important for women who make up more than half of the voting electorate. Laurel Bowman, VOA News, Washington.